Good evening, viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. We're starting from a save again, and ah, looks like we've only used 34 minutes, so we're not doing too badly. Now let's switch the controls around so that dash is A. That's much, much better. Much easier to reach the A button than X. Okay, and uh, one of those areas uh, on the right there that doesn't have a name has to be Meridia, which we saw for a couple of screens, if you'll remember. Alright, let's get going. Got a lot to do today. It's gonna be a busy, busy, busy episode. Now that we have the speed boosters, maybe we can do something in here. Alright. Oh, okay. Have patience. Have more patience than I do. There we go. Now let's be careful here. Now this is tricky. Sometimes the critters are coming out on you. And if you try to take those two at a time, you're probably just going to keep on falling. Okay, Ice Beam! Now, it's good to have the Ice Beam on, more often than not. It does add to your firepower, and it has the a few handy features, as you can see. So it's very good to keep on, although there are enemies that you can kill in one shot. For those enemies, yes, turn off the ice beam, because then you will actually have to fire twice, once to freeze them and then the other time to vaporize them. But more often than not, you won't be one-shotting enemies anyway, so... Okay, now hang right, as far as you can. And we're out. Good job. And you wouldn't ordinarily think of a beam as opening up new places to explore, but as you'll see, First, we're going to go into Meridia again. Hey, we're in Meridia. La 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 la. Okay, and so much for that. And you could have come to get this earlier. But, of course, you know that time is of the essence. Okay, now push right while you're laying that bomb. And another important beam power-up. Okay, now as you'll be able to see, it splits your beam into three, and makes it more powerful. So you get a nice, you get a nice wider and more powerful shot. If you ever get to see me demonstrate it, uh, here we go. On its own, it would just be yellow. If I didn't have the wave added on to it. I didn't think that I needed any energy. This business of shooting the little critters and jumping up on top of them can be a little bit tricky. By no means is it trivial. Now 
and I believe those little platforms that stuck out to help us there, you can actually bomb them, so try not to. That would probably make the infinite bomb jump technique uh, a little bit more complicated in this area. You want to make really shallow jumps through here. I don't know why they have that room there, it's just to annoy you and nothing but. Okay, Ice Beam comes in very handy here. Look what he's got. Ooh, the Power Bomb. Okay, well that's our last kind of consumable. Let's try it out. Hey, look at that! Alright! Same thing again. Oops. So yeah, you want to get them before you approach them. Okay, save room on the right, but we don't really need to worry about that. Okay. Ooh. These guys are tough. Probably should have used a missile or something. Maybe even a super missile. Very nice. Now we've got ten. Which is actually probably all you'll ever need. Uh, you can carry 50 power bombs, but really I'd rather carry, oh, I don't know, 90 super missiles and 10 bombs than I would 50 missiles and 50 bombs. Okay, I just want to show you something here. All right, oh, almost had it. There, ah! Okay, let's bomb jump. Okay, this is a little exit from Meridia. Seldom used. You might use it once. Kind of impractical, because it's a uh, one way. So not really much we can do there. But I just thought I'd show you that. Now, right now, we're on the longest elevator in the game. Although, you wouldn't know it, because they all take about the same amount of time on screen. Be cool if they actually animated the entire elevator sequence. That would that would excite people like me. Okay, we'll be going right much later. Okay, crank up the speed. Alright, we're back at the ship. You can revisit your ship anytime you like. Get recharged, save the game. Recharges everything, your missiles, super missiles, power bombs, energy tanks. Just a great place to be. Now, let's speed up in this. Press down. And jump! Now this part, you don't have to do. This whole part that I'm going to show you here, it's pretty much optional. But I'm showing it to you now because it's sort of along the way that we're going. And this is the earliest time you can do it. It seems like overkill to go back and recharge. If you noticed, the speed boosting and jumping took actually took away some of my energy. So if you get your energy down to a certain point, you won't be able to speed boost and jump like that anymore. I think it's called Shine Sparking. But you can't die from Shine Sparking, which is good. It'll just stop you if you run out of energy.
A lot of times people come back and get this later after they have some of the more advanced power-ups, but you know, we can go now, we'll go now. Now if this is your first time playing through the game, this area is a bit tricky. As you can see, that's not just hot water there, that's the full-blown lava. Quite tricky. You have to really watch your step in here. I only have three energy tanks, which is all I think I can have anyway, but unless I... No. Yeah, I guess I could have a few more if I took a detour. And you also cannot power bomb while you're immersed in that lava. Like, okay, you can lay a power bomb, but you can't bomb jump. Now, see what I did there? Fatal mistake. You should bomb the middle layer of those, not the bottom, because you have no place to go. Okay. Now, I'm not going to show you all the going back there again. We're going to catch up. Okay. So I did things... I'm going to do things the right way this time. Keep that guy frozen. Now I'm going to jump up, morph, and then bomb while I'm falling. Just like that. That's how you do it. Okay, see now I've got a nice safe place to sit. Just take my time. Okay, now same... Uh, here it's not so necessary. But you know, the higher up you are, the better. Okay, now be careful of this guy. Ah! Okay. All right. And isn't that a sight for sore eyes? Okay. Well, that was good timing, wasn't it? Could you imagine turning around and going back through all that? No way! No, we must press on. Ouch. Again, this would be a nice room in which to have some of the more advanced power-ups, but hey. Do it now, and we'll never have to come back here again. This part is tricky. I had to make a save state, the uh, save state, to get this done properly. You have to, yeah, jump up, and that's hard to do because of the spikes. Morph on the way down, and then bomb like that, because you can't bomb jump very easily up to where you need to be within the time permitted by the lava rising and falling. So, that's what you gotta do. You might want to save state here too, I, and I had to use a few here. You've got to get right there, right in the middle. Okay, now you can collect both of the missiles in one trip. Because you really don't want to have to go through all of that again just to get another missile, right? Am I right? Those two, at the level of the feet, those ones, they regenerate right away, so if you get below, well, it's too late. Alright, now if you had, of course, decided to skip this part, this is where you'd be meeting up with me, you would have just gone left from your ship and kept going and ended it up here anyway. If you want to, you can head right and see if anything's changed in that room with the big statue, but time's a wasting. Let's go to Brinstar.
See if there's anything new we can get here that we couldn't get before. I mean, outside of glitching the game and breaking sequences, which is not really cool this playthrough. Alright, dash, dash. Alright. Hmm. Well, here's something interesting. A reserve tank. So how does this work? Well, let's check out Samus. And that mode you can select between auto and manual. But you start with nothing in it. So you have to load it up by killing enemies until your energy, your standard energy tanks are full. And then any energy collections you make after that will go into your reserve tank. Regular energy charging stations will not refill your reserve tank. When you're on automatic, once you get down to a certain energy level, I think it's on your last tank. Kind of when the alarm starts going off and you're going, whir, 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 it will drain your energy tanks into your standard tanks. Or you can just have it on manual and just do it yourself whenever you like. All right, more super missiles. These are definitely worth going out of your way for. Okay, let's go back into the shaft. Hmm, I wonder what's down there. Hmm. Alright, you may want to make a save state here. Oh, sorry, I misspoke. You want to make a safe state here because those things will kill you! No. Make a safe state here. Because... This is very tricky. The four blocks in front of that energy tank, don't tread on them. Just jump right over. And get the tank. You'll see why in a second. And another super missile! It's a veritable bonanza down here. So I figured this was worth the detour. Sometimes, if you're just trying to get a good time, you wouldn't come down here. I actually am trying to get a good time, but I think it's possible to do some of this. And oh, there's a save. As my uncle called it, that's a dirty save. You may not actually want to save there. Okay, let's turn off our high jump boots for a minute while we're getting through this area. Just make things a little easier on ourselves. I think if I were Samus, I would, uh, I would join a non-governmental organization devoted to the banning of ceiling spikes. I think they're... They're like the landmines of sci-fi video games. Okay. Uh-huh. Alright. Oh. Uh, it's not as easy as they make it look. Okay, what you have to do... There we go. You have to spin jump against the wall, and if it's a right wall, you push left as you're hitting the wall, and then you push the jump button in that order, and not at the same time. You have to leave just a little bit of time, like a split second, between when you contact the wall, you press the button in the direction you want to go, so it's left with the right wall and right with the left wall. And push the jump button. It takes a bit of practice, although I was able to do that. That's 
that's no fakery. No, uh, no safe states or nothing. That was just me wall jumping. So, it's easy to get alright at it. And if you didn't want to go all the way up to get this power bomb, you could have stopped halfway and gone out into the main area, as I think I showed you. Ah, okay, I didn't want to do that. But anyway, let's... There we go. That was awesome. We learned how to wall jump. Thanks, guys. You know, if you're really good, you can use wall jumping to get into all kinds of areas you're not supposed to get into at this point in the game. I probably won't be doing that. I'm not really that fond of wall jumping. Yeah, you can probably wall jump here. Will we have to? Oh, hey! Some energy charging if you need it. Oh, I don't know if I'll show you. Yes, yeah, see? That does not charge up the reserve tank, unfortunately. So for your reserve tanks, you're on your own. But there is a way to recharge them. Wait up! Wait up! Where'd he go? Oh! Well, I can run too! Oh! Alright! Oh, thanks, buddy! Enjoy your freedom! He could speed boost himself and jump, but he couldn't break those bricks like I could. Could open that door, but not much we can do there at the moment. Okay, let's see if we can get into that pipe. Dash and jump, there we go. And this is getting ahead of myself a little bit. Well, you'll see. In just one second. When I try to get up here. Ah! Can't make it. What's going on? Huh. Whatever could be the problem. That should be an easy jump. Come on! Oh! I forgot to turn the high jump boots back on. Okay, let's try it now. Eh, a little better. Let's try and run and jump that one. Okay, there we go. And it, it was when recording this, I realized, gee, I could have gotten that missile tank in the pipe when we were first there. Oh, well. At least we got it. Now, I could go kill those things, and I do, but I don't have to. I can just get out of here. But I killed them anyway, so what the heck. Power bomb? Lay another one. I wish there were more bricks like that that you could just shoot. It's kind of annoying always having to curl up into a morph and bomb your way through things all the time. Ah, okay, there we go. That one you pretty much need the high jump boots for. Probably is possible to sequence break. You can also go up in that room now, but it's best to wait till later. Alright, let's go back to Criteria. 
We're almost finished, guys, for today. Alright, these critters again. Hmm, but I could one-shot them before, so maybe... Yeah, let's turn off the ice beam and see how we do. There we go. That's much better. Instant vaporization. I don't know why I instinctively trundle away from all the little mini bomb blasts. It's not as if they hurt me or anything. Neither do power bombs, for that matter. I guess I just must have had a bad experience once or twice, and that's what I do. Now let's check out this little secret area. Oh, okay, not much we can do there. But we'll be seeing that passage later. Okay, now I'm forgetting myself here. I don't want to go up that way. No. Let's go this way. Now we're gonna need the ice beam here. Oh look, my reserve tank's full. Good times, good times. Too close. Jump up, shoot them. Okay, get them all blue, and run for your life! Run, 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 run! Down button, up. Jump up. And another super missile! Alright, we've got 20 of them. We're practically invincible now. Ouch. Not really much choice here. Okay. That wasn't too hard. Looks worse than it really is. Okay. We don't have to deal with all those little capsule platforms to get back up. That's pretty cool. If it weren't for the fact that you had to freeze all of the little yellow things before you took a run and dashed up, it actually might be a shortcut. But way it is, it isn't. I, I think there should be more shortcuts in this game. It's a good game, but sometimes, you know, you want to get somewhere and you want to get there fast and you have to go through a lot of rigmarole to do it. Okay, now let's check out those energy tanks. Now I can switch this to manual, okay, and then drain my tank, like so. There we go. And let's get in our ship. Take a look, and our reserve tank's full again. So our ship is the ultimate recharger. If there's anything that you need recharged, your ship will do it. There we go, let's put it on auto. And that'll do it for today's episode of Let's Play Super Metroid. Have a good day.